What's up guys, Jamie Bond. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Fish Blue Water. Um, so again, uh, this is gonna be one of our tips and technique rigging videos. Uh, we got a lot of uh, questions and inquiries about the video that we did on making the stiff rigged wire stinger and guys that were asking to see how you actually rig that in the bait. So you asked and we answered. We're gonna show you today how to run that stiff rig wire stinger up the back of the bait of a fish just like these goggle eyes. So here we go. Got my bait. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I take that stinger, and I want that stinger to come out right before the bridge of its nose. So I look at exactly where the base of that hook is at the end of the bait. I poke a little hole in the skin like so. I take my stinger, run it right up underneath the back of the skin basically keeps all of that wire concealed underneath the bait of the fish for a clean presentation. I take my lead hook and I poke a little hole in the front of the bait like so. And then the next step is going to be to get that stinger wire up out of the head of the bait like that. We got it out through that hole. And now, we're gonna take it and through the bridge, through the nostrils of the bait, right down in, like so. I've got myself beautiful st stinger rigged bait with all the wire concealed. See how that hook is nice and upright? Ready to go. Only thing I have left to do, pitch this bad boy out. Catch your fish. All right, so you saw this rig go into the bait and the steps that are involved in making that presentation with the wire stinger underneath, underneath uh, the skin of the bait, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. One of the things I wanted to show you guys real quick, the, the, the beauty of that rig as well, is you saw how that hook set upright in the bait, right? And just imagine as far as a predator fish is concerned, a lot of times they attack from behind, they come from the sides, they can come forward, but any angle they come from, the way that I have that hook facing up in the bait, my odds of hooking that fish properly with that hook sticking basically upright out of the bait is much higher. So, hope you enjoyed uh, that tip. And uh, if you guys have anything else that you'd like to see or you wanna know, or you wanna learn, hit us up, throw a comment uh, on the video and we'll do our best to get it out to you.